texture and then I will say new and let's call this Windows map and uh, actually I want to call this Windows Luma uh, I didn't mention this, the, the scene that it's going to be in is a night scene so the reason why I'm making this UV is to make it look like some of the windows are have their lights randomly turned on so I want to choose Z for the direction and uh, I want to change this to manual here zero 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 size one 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 create okay so if I look over here UV texture there it is <laughs> I had to zoom out or zoom in or something so here's all my windows where where is this oh here it is over here is a little box so I'm gonna scale these down considerably scale them down more okay so this is a good place to save save the object I'll call this assembled windows okay I'll see you on my paint program okay here I am on my paint program this is uh, paint shop pro I am one of the few people in the world who do not use Photoshop and uh, I I made a very small image, as you can see, this is actual size, 300 by 300, because this pi this building is going to be in the background, and then the windows on top of that are very small, and as I mentioned, my goal here is memory conservation. So, uh, try not to get too intimidated by my mad painting skills as I begin here. But here we go, prepare yourself. That's it. Oh yeah, that's the stuff, baby. You like that? Alright, let's pull a little something something over here. Maybe a little darkening over here. Yeah, that's the stuff. I do want to make sure that my corner over here is fully black, so I'm painting multiple strokes here. Alright, let's finish this off with a little blur. Okay, there's my amazing painting. I'll save this and I will see you back in Modeler. My tablet away, back to the mouse and uh, the first thing I will do is I'll go to the image editor and load that image in. Windows Luma. There it is. Oh, it's every time I see it, I love it more. Okay, so I'm going to choose to put that image in there. And uh, now comes the fun part, and this is kind of the whole meat of the tutorial here. Let's see here. Surface editor. Windows. Uh, initial. I'm going to do it differently ultimately, but uh, initially, I will put this in the color. I'll choose UV. Windows Luma. Windows Luma. Turn those off, and we're done. And as you can see, initially, the image is repeating. That's because. put that back in there. Im images do repeat in UVs even though it's only showing here it tiles it's over here and it's over here so um, let's start by well I can I can start by selecting all my windows and shrinking them down I want to put them in the black area so that it will be very clear 
what's been tampered with and what hasn't. There we go. Now everybody's black. So basically what I want to do is select windows here and there and more or less turn them on. And you know, not everybody's going to be using the same amount of watts in their lights. Not everybody has the same furniture layout, so they'll all have little deviations in their looks. So let's let's start over here. I selected a cluster of windows here. And I'm going to move him up, scale him up. Oh, I still have mouse mode on. Scale him up. And let's put him like right there. See what that looks like. There we go. Now this might be... Yeah, I want to move, move this up a little bit. Yeah. I don't want it to get pure black because that wouldn't make sense. So the basic idea of this is that uh, this is a different kind of viewing mapping that you may have seen where they take a character and they unwrap them into a pelt. Uh, this time we're going to have all of our stuff overlapping. Like so. And we'll do a thing where this window is, uh, actually I just realized I still got my morph on, which is okay, but I'm going to turn that off because this way we can see how the windows will relate to each other. So let's say that there's a door open 